Hello, my name is Brendan Heap, and I am a, a close friend and the confidant of Seth Sorensen. Seth couldn't make it this afternoon because he and his sister Kendra were went out to find another another mystical and magical artifact. I know Seth to be brave, strong, and courageous, all important traits for a president. Let me tell you a little bit about my friend Seth. He is 11 years old, and he and his sister Kendra went to stay with their grandparents while his parents were out on a 17-day cruise. I know what Seth has done since he found out about the magical refuge for creatures of myth and legend, Fablehaven. For example, I know about Muriel. She is an evil witch bound in a shack by a rope with knots. She can do magic, but for each one, someone must undo one knot. When all the knots are gone, she is free to wreak havoc. I know about Lena, the housekeeper, who was formerly a naiad who gave up her, her immortality to save the one she loved, Patton Burgess. I know what, about what Seth did on Midsummer's Eve when he opened the window and let the monsters in and the consequences that it had. I know about Kendra being very kind, and I know about what happened when Seth went to seek help from the demon Gregulus. I know that he learned from his mistakes and will not repeat them. Seth is an outgoing, risky, curious, and adventurous personality that make him a great president. Seth is also immune to, magical f to the magical fear that some dark beings radiate. He has also gained the ability to see some elements of darkness that are hidden to others. He could use these things to make the world a better place. I will end with with a quote from another friend of mine and a good friend of Seth, author of Fablehaven, Brandon Mole. Our president does not need to be a man who has never made mistakes. In fact, a man who has never made mistakes would be dangerously, dangerously overconfident. Our president should be a man who learns from his mistakes. Seth Sorensen has certainly made mistakes in his past. He has unleashed terrible demons and has jeopardized the safety of the magical creatures and caretakers who live at Fablehaven. But he has also had the courage to face his mistakes, to repair the damage he caused, to learn from his errors, and to move forward. Seth is not the type of candidate who would pretend to be perfect, but he is real. You could count on him to speak his mind truthfully. You could trust him to follow his instincts, and you could rely on him to put his own well-being at risk for the sake of others. With Seth Sorensen, you won't get a two-faced shyster who plays to the crowd. He is a candidate of real integrity whose words match his actions. With his adventurous spirit, you can count on him to be consistently brave and fiercely loyal. And he is certainly not boring. Thank you.